Hey, and welcome to another episode of Tweak My Turbo. And today we're going to be talking about car maintenance, i.e. how to extend the life of your engine in your motor vehicle. Now, I'm going to give you a classic example of what I do. So, this is the engine oil that I stick in my car. Now, um, this is a reputable brand, Coma. Um, take into account they don't they don't sponsor me. They don't even know I exist. Um, I use this because it's cheap. I paid twenty two pounds and fifty for this engine oil, and it's great stuff. It meets all the uh, statutory regulations for engine oil. It's good stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I could be using a more premium brand of engine oil like Mobile One, and I used to do that uh, back in the day. Um, I used to have a Skoda Octavia, and I used to use the most expensive engine oil I could get my hands on. And then a guy once told me that it's better to have use a cheaper engine oil and have more frequent oil changes than it is to buy a premium brand of engine oil and do less frequent oil changes. So, you know, in an ideal world, you'd have regular oil changes and use a premium brand of engine oil, but that's if you've got a lot of money. But um, it's not necessary. You can use a, um, a typical engine oil like the one I've got here and you can change your engine oil regularly. Now, it's rec I've got a Citroen C3 diesel, and it's recommended you change the engine oil every tw uh, 12,000 miles. Now, what I do is I change it every 6,000 miles, so it gets a fresh lot of engine oil every 6,000 miles. And that's going to uh, increase the life expectancy of my engine by a lot. Now, there are some people who change their engine oil every 3,000 miles. Now, if you can do something like that, I wouldn't be surprised um, if your engine could do up to a million miles. Uh, if you change it every two and a half to 3,000 uh, miles. I change it every six months. It's good enough for me. Hopefully, that will extend the range of my engine uh, by a long shot. And Also, the other thing you've got to remember is when you change the engine oil, um, change the filter. Don't just change the engine oil and not bother with the filter. It makes no economic sense because where if you don't change the filter, then any new engine oil you put in your car will be contaminated by the dirty filter. You basically wasted your time. Now, the re other reason that you should change your uh, engine oil regularly is especially if you do short distances. Now, if you're doing short distances all the time, the oil doesn't get um, a chance to get to its operating temperature which means it never really really gets hot now what engine oil has a tendency to do is absorb moisture and when it absorbs moisture the engine oil isn't as effective as when it's not got moisture in it so if you're used doing short journeys change your engine oil regularly and uh, Every now and again, give it a good blast up the motorway. It's good for the battery, and it's good for the gen engine overall. And when you give it a nice little good blast, then it gets rid of all the carbon deposits that build up in the engine as well. And sometimes it can starve your engine of um, fuel and air because it's just clogged up with carbon. Also, um, uh, check that your engine oil uh, level regularly. Now, some cars... Uh, you d they don't have a dipstick. Uh, the computer management system can check how much oil there is. If your car uses a dipstick, which is like mine, I always check the engine oil and I look at the quality of the engine oil. Um, if it's uh, the engine oil feels gritty, needs a change anyway. There's too many deposits in the oil. If there's any white uh, precipitant in the engine oil, it could mean that a coolant pipe is leaking it could mean there's uh, a serious problem lurking uh, at some point it's going to show its face and cause some serious damage to your engine especially if you've got an expensive car if in doubt get it checked get it looked at 
and I'm hoping that my engine will uh, hope will do uh, at the moment it's at 140,000 miles the fact that I'm changing the engine all regular I should see 200 300,000 miles pretty easy uh, but that's not to say that the gearbox won't go or the drive shaft won't go these things will happen but you don't want your engine conking out before it's time now I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, helpful tip about how to extend the range of your engine uh, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, join me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I'll see you in the future if there is one.